Morning everybody, this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli, and I am talking to you from Lauderdale by the beach, and here's where I am, hanging out by the pool, sorry, hanging out by the pool, and today my question is, should you um, keep your, sorry, uh, nice. Should you keep your um, Model 3 reservation if you are Model 3 reservation holder, like I am? And I've been always, if you see my videos from before, I've been always being a big supporter and proponent of uh, Tesla and, and everything that they do, and I still am, but I have to say that for the first time I am worried. I am worried for two reasons. Reason number reason number one is the supercharger net supercharging network. Now I always say that the reason I will not buy uh, the the um, the Chevy Bolt EV and wait for the Tesla is for one, I mean there are many reasons, but the main reason is the long distance driving ability, which is a huge thing, a huge thing. Otherwise uh, you're buying a car that is uh, basically uh, just has a longer range, but you cannot <coughs> take it to long, to long drives. And, and, um, and defeats the purpose of having an all-purpose car. Beside that, the Bolt TV is really, really, now that I saw it many times, it's really an ugly car. Uh, and, uh, and okay, ugly, high, I have to be older, it looks tall, like my leaf, functional, okay, I take it back. But the main thing is the supercharging. Even if you have to pay for it, which, in any any charging stations around the country, you do have to pay. I use a public charging very, very little, but the times that I use, I pay, and it's fine. I, I understand that. It's like going to the gas station. So even if you have to pay for uh, supercharging from Model S or Model 3 or whatever, that's still fine. You still have the ability to go places. So that's issue one, that in certain areas like uh, California, there is a tremendous amount of uh, clog, clogging and people are staying too long and all that and there's just not enough. Imagine you dumping another uh, 50,000 mild trees to the LA, to the California, Oregon area, you, you really have a problem. What do you do? <coughs> because Tesla is the only, um, is the only uh, company that really thinking about uh, infrastructure and charging. I mean, here where I am in New Jersey, not here, I'm now in Florida, but in New Jersey, in New York, the the charging infrastructure is bad. In, even in New York City, there's only one place I can really rely on. It's really, really, really bad. Um, I don't want to get into that, but it's just not something that it's efficient. <clears throat> so when you go, you might as well think if you can make it back anyway. So. Um, the whole idea with Tesla that you don't have to do that and now you still in certain areas supercharging works beautifully now you're dumping two three hundred thousand cars four hundred thousand cars a year into the system what do you do but I think the bigger problem is the service centers because Tesla supercharging you see that they're coming up every year there's more and more and more and that's great but the the service centers are very few are coming this year i think the next there are now only five or six or seven uh, is getting structured uh, in new jersey now you're gonna have to wait two months to for uh, an appointment i know i have friends who own teslas uh, in california eight months uh, in norway uh, no i'm sorry in california maybe three or four months in norway eight months it's like this, it's a meltdown. So what do you do to this, uh, you know, if you dump all these cars on the market, who service them? Now, 
One possible solution is that Tesla can contract with, uh, with, you know, with uh, mechanics or uh, or uh, dealers that they can certify and have them do the little stuff like the the, the tires, the rotations, the um, I don't know the fluids, and leave only the batteries and uh, and and the drivetrain to Tesla centers while building more. Because I'm telling you, I for the first time. Uh, was considering not to not to uh, uh, hold my uh, reservation not to hold my reservation I'm really like worried what am I going to do with this I'm going to have to buy it and then make appointments for the next few years what happened if something happened right away anyway um, so you know I in my mind I'm thinking maybe I'll just go for the Model S now and enjoy it until until three or four years from now where all the the big volume of Model 3 come down, maybe I will do that, but I'm just thinking down the line, it's a real problem. I think building many, 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 many more service centers is a one solution, but contracting to other providers, to other mechanics or other uh, dealers to do the, the non-battery or non-drivetrain um, services so you can uh, ease the burden. What do you think? Because I'm worried. What do you think? What are you suggesting? Please put it down in my uh, in my comments area, and let's have a discussion about this important uh, issue now sooner than later. So thank you for watching, and have, have a happy new year. And please subscribe to my channel, and don't forget, let's change the world one electric car at a time. So long from the Sunshine State.